This video will demonstrate how to export data from Remark Office OMR to SPSS when processing paper surveys. The form we are using for the demonstration is an alumni survey that might be used by a university. The first step in the process is to create a form template in the Remark Office OMR template editor that explains to the software how to interpret your form. You can see that we have already set up our template. When you know you will be exporting to SPSS, there are a few things to consider. Let's take a look at some of the regions we have defined. This region, called Courses, asks the respondent to explain the importance of the courses that they had taken at the university. The first item to note is the region name, which becomes the variable name in SPSS. We are using the multiple OMR type, which is multiple choice, and we recommend most of the time using the textual data type because this will allow you to export both your labels and your values for your answer choices. Once you have set up your region layout, you can set up your labels, which become value labels in SPSS. This is our scale of very important to not important. Each label has a corresponding value, which are also called values in SPSS. Be sure to enter the values appropriately for each label. You may also go to the Question Text and Name section and enter individual question text for every question in the region. The question text becomes variable labels in SPSS. You will also notice that because we have multiple questions in one region, we can define question names for each question. Once again, the question names will become our variable names in SPSS. If you have a question on your form that is a mark all that apply question, such as the major at graduation question on this form, you can set up the region the same way, entering a region name, the OMR type, and the data type, as well as your labels and values. You will need to go to Region Item Properties and set the multiple exception handling to allow all responses. Now SPSS will not readily handle multiple responses in one data cell. However, when you export to the SPSS format, Remark Office OMR will break apart the answer choices into individual variables or questions in SPSS. Once you have set up your form template, you're ready to process your filled in forms. This occurs in the data center of Remark Office OMR. We have opened up the template that you just saw, and I will click the Read Wizard to read my forms. I've already scanned my forms, so I select my TIFF file and click Read. The forms are now being processed. You will see exceptions such as blank responses or multiple responses where multiple responses are not allowed. These items are considered missing data in SPSS. To save the data, click File, Save Data. For Save as Type, choose SPSS and enter a file name. We recommend leaving the checkbox for Save Headers turned on. You may adjust the decimal places if desired and you may also adjust the missing value, which once again is used when invalid data is encountered, such as a blank or multiple response. The default missing value is minus one. Click OK to save the data. We can now go into SPSS and open up that data file. You will see that SPSS displays the numeric data. Let's take a look at some of our data. If we go to Divine Variable Properties, and let's take a look at one of the course questions that we had looked at in the template editor. You can see that the variable name came across, which was our region name and remark. Our label came across, which was our question text. And in the grid, you will see missing values are defined as minus one, as we said when we exported the data. And both our labels and values appear. Here is our scale of not important to very important, along with the corresponding values that we defined when we created our template. Another item to note was the mark all that apply question. If we look at Remark Office OMR and we look at the major question, we can see all of the data is in one cell for each respondent. As we mentioned, SPSS does not readily import that type of data. When we go back to SPSS, we can see that it was broken apart into 12 different questions representing the answer choices. Where you see a zero means that the respondent did not select that answer and where you see a 1 means the respondent did select that answer. 
If we want to recombine these variables into one, we can go to Analyze, Multiple Response, to find variable sets. We can then select all of the majors that we had defined. We leave our coding at dichotomies and enter a counted value of one. Then you can provide a name and a label. And click the Add button. We've now established our response set. To analyze that data, go back to Analyze, Multiple Response, and you can choose Frequencies or Cross Tabs. We will do Frequencies. We select our major multiple response set and click OK. Now you can see the majors are listed out along with their frequencies and the corresponding percents. This concludes our demonstration of exporting data from Remark Office OMR to SPSS.